So the beginning of 2024 came coupled with its challenges, both in my family life and in my work life. So honey and I decided to leave the Pacific side of the world and hit the beautiful waters of the Gulf of Mexico. And we headed to Playa del Carmen. Once we got off that plane, we did not fool with ground transportation because we know that they price gouge with the local tourists. So we hopped on one of those beautiful red buses, uh, paid about $10 per person and went about 50 minutes away to our resort. And the next stop was Playa del Carmen. We ended up here at the Wyndham Ultra, which is an all-inclusive adults-only resort. They had drinks for us when we first came. They delivered them to us while we checked in. There was just a plethora, uh, a never-ending supply of delicious real watermelon with real seeds. So I had plenty of that. Their juice bar was amazing. I don't care what that green juice looked like. It was delicious. This is me just hanging out on our balcony for the day and soaking up some of that beautiful sunshine and just taking in the crash of the waves that I could hear to my right. We hung out at the pool a little bit that day here. This was the pre-Hispanic dinner show. They offered some form of entertainment at the resort every single night, giving homage to Mayan culture. We had the opportunity to take pictures with some of the performers after the show. Of course, that is their living. Many people there um, work in that industry, performing those shows in different places. So, of course, we tipped them for the picture. The next day, we decided to hop on a bus and get a little bit adventurous, and we headed down to Chichen Itza. One of the things that I appreciated is that vendors were there. Oh. Well, we had a breakfast included with our package and uh, the croissant sandwich was pretty decent. The vendors at Chichen Itza, that's one of the things that I appreciated. They had raw pieces of wood that they were carving right there on site. So a lot of that was hand work. Repeat after me, say go chiefs you know what it is so honey says that if you don't take pictures you were not there so these were absolutely amazing you have to think about in the 1500s the rock quarry being about two miles away from this location and them erecting such a precise um, architecture the people in of Mayan culture um, are very short and small in stature because they did not have a lot of protein in their diet. This is just one of the beautifully manicured palm trees that was outside of this cenote. You see me going down these stairs, you have to go pretty deep into the cenote that you will see next. And a cenote is basically just a sinkhole, but there are mineral properties that are in the water. Now the gag with this one is, <laughs> I actually um, went up and I dove into the cenote from a pretty high uh, place once you get down there. Now, honey had the camera and I put it on video for him and I said, you don't have to touch anything, meaning don't touch video, pano, none of that, baby. Honey didn't touch nothing, including <laughs> including record. So he didn't get me uh, splashing into the water. But yeah, I jumped off of that area to the right there where you see all those people standing. So yeah, that was beautiful. Here is just one of the churches, one of the older churches. That is just me in the city on a shopping day. And there is the person who said, this is my Jubilee year and we're going to celebrate me all year. Here's to honey. <laughs>